Hi, I'm Huntley. I was asked to do a quick video on affiliate programs for Silas. So I wanted to walk you through how affiliate programs work, what the watchouts are, and maybe what you should be thinking about instead. So first, a primer on affiliate programs. Affiliate programs were popularized by Amazon. So think of a blogger who recommends to you through their blog, a moisturizer that's amazing for your face. You read that blog that you maybe saw on Facebook or a friend shared or something like that. You see them recommend that moisturizer. You click on a link in that blog. It takes you to Amazon. You purchase that moisturizer and you love it. And guess what? When you click through their link to go to Amazon, that particular blogger was paid something by Amazon. They got a commission on your moisturizer purchase, which is awesome. They totally deserved it. You wouldn't have bought that moisturizer if it wasn't for them. That blogger should get commission. But you know what? You used up that moisturizer and a month later, you know what you did? You went to Amazon and you bought that moisturizer. And you know what? That blogger didn't get commission. And that super sucks for that blogger. You feel that as a hairstylist, you know how Amazon takes things out of your pocket. It super sucks for the blogger. This is how affiliate programs work. Affiliate programs play you once on a transaction. So you as a stylist need to understand how affiliate programs work. If you are directing your clients through an affiliate link to a professional brand, you are getting paid on the transaction. What you are not getting paid on are subsequent transactions. And that brand will advertise to your clients. That brand will advertise on Facebook. They will advertise on Instagram. They will advertise over email. And when your client repurchases, because they love the product you picked out, especially for them, especially for their hair, especially for their needs, you don't get paid. And that sucks. And you should get paid. So I wanted to make sure you guys understood how affiliate programs work. Now, how do you kind of mitigate the risk on this? What can you do? First, you can skip the affiliate program altogether. You can continue to buy retail products at wholesale prices, sell those to your clients, have them PayPal you, have them use the Cash App, have them use Yelp, whatever they want to do, and drop those off on porches or drop them in the mail. It's not elegant, but it works, and it can get you some cash during these really weird times. Second, look for opportunities to have hard conversations with your clients. Talk to them about how you get paid when they use that link and how you don't get paid if they don't use that link. And say, I want you to buy it right now, but in the future, I don't want you to buy it from that brand. I want you to buy it from me, from my salon. So don't use this link unless you get it from me. And don't use this link unless I give you a, kind of the okay that I'm getting paid on it. Because this is how I make my money. This is how I make the income. Now, this all sounds well and good, but who wants to be the stylist that has to nag all their clients? Who wants to stay on top of this? That brand has armies of marketers that are sending out emails, that are putting ads online, and your client's going to just get hit on at the right time, and they're going to purchase a product, and they're going to forget to ask you for the link. So it's not a perfect solution, but it's one you can consider. The third option is to go with a brand that pays you on the account. So where affiliate programs pay you on a transaction, there are brands out there like Jacqueline Pro that pays you on a client account. So if that client signs up and purchases anything, they create an account. If they create an account through your link, that account is forever tied to you as a stylist. Anything purchased under that account, you get paid commission on. Now, what's even crazier about Jacqueline Pro is if a client purchases a product and they haven't clicked on a client site or on a stylist site, you know what we do? We actually call that client and we ask who their stylist is. And we find who in the Jacqueline Pro community is their stylist so I can make sure that stylist gets paid. I think that's it. If you have questions, feel free to drop them below and we'll try to monitor this for answers. And if you have other stylists in your life that need to understand how affiliate programs work, feel free to share this video. Thanks and have a great day.